What's going on everyone, Sundown here and welcome back to Aliens Colonial Marines. For some reason I decided to do this one with live commentary so it's either going to go really good or it's going to go and this is what I imagine it's going to be, it's going to go really terribly. But we'll find out when we get into the game. Status? Copy that. Winner? I'm here. Getting a sit rep. Sulaco Actual, this is Winner. Come in, over. Sulaco Actual, do you read me, goddammit? Winner, this is Sulaco Actual. Glad to hear you upright. Sir, we're at the bridge. Just got here too late. Son, don't bother dwelling on it. It's over. We're now evacuating the Sulaco. Raider 6-5 will wait for you, but goddammit, son, don't make us wait for you. Actual out. How far from the dropship are we? Want that in meters, or the number of things trying to kill us? Same number? About 400. So the weapon I'm, weapon I'm holding right now is actually Ripley's gun, or Ripley's pulse rifle from the movie, and it's a pulse rifle. So it's a flamethrower. And I don't want to fire it because it's useful, but it has grenade launcher as well. So it's pretty much the most multifaceted tool you can have in the game. But the downside is, for some reason, you can't aim down that scope attached right on the top of the pulse rifle. So I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if that is a scope. It just looks like a complete matte finish on the... Look at that thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like a see-through scope. I also, um, because I've been playing the game, I also managed to unlock me a battle rifle and it actually I mean not right here but if you've seen the three model um, in the main menus it actually in fact I think I can show you that it actually looks like the friggin battle rifle from the Halo games <laughs> yeah quite similar there in any case this is the first time I've even used it so I don't know yeah, this is the, the first time I've used it, and uh, uh, let's go a different way. I hope it's good. Oh, you think? Two one, this is Raider six five. It's getting hairy shit down here. Are you close? Over. Define close six five. Two one, defining close is kicking your ass in person. The PMCs are trying to take our drop ship to escape. Get back here. Morning. I am out of you with twenty mics. Now be advised, shit's all exploding and shit. Now we'll be there as fast as we can! Yeah. I don't know if I love that line or if I hate it. And yes, my shotgun is golden. That's one of the many skins that we have available to us. They used to live there. How in the hell did we not know they were on the ship? Because they didn't want us to know, kid. We stumbled Stress. on something we shouldn't have. I feel like a third wheel. I was kind of left out of that touching moment there. Now, before I go into this section, I want to quickly spend my upgrades because why the hell not? Uh, there isn't anything useful for the battle rifle yet, but we'll get there. Let's see what we can do with our pump action shotgun. Um, I'm sad that the flames don't give it more damage because that would, that would indeed be fantastic. Okay, there's nothing we can do there. What about the pulse rifle? We can get a little bit of more accuracy with a, a silencer, or a suppressor, sorry, I don't, I don't know why that would make us more accurate. Uh, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing really all that useful after a point. Oh yeah, we got the combat pistol as well, I guess that's fun. Uh, okay, well, there isn't really anywhere to spend these points. Um, well, I guess that couldn't hurt. The, um... That assault rifle there's actually pretty decent. I have to admit, that's one of the, the decent guns of the game. Um, yeah, probably gonna have to just complete more challenges and, and level up a little bit more in order to get something 
marginally worthwhile. And I would stick with, or I would put this on for the accuracy, because boy, does this pulse rifle need accuracy, but I don't want to ruin the damage. So let's just leave it as is. I'll do that at some other point. This next section is not fun, and it was worse when I was trying to do one of the challenges, which is to melee kill enemies in one level. Uh, I mistakenly tried it here, and I don't know why. There's also a flamethrower in here. Um, I mean, I'll show you it, but it's really not that useful. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll try and use it. Let's let's confuse these guys first. Oh. Yeah, it's okay, but it's still not a permanent weapon, so there's no point in holding on to it. So there's actually a DLC for the game, which is more or less um, an, an upgrade to the Collector's Edition, which gives you a, a plasma pulse rifle, which is essentially this battle rifle with... it shoots balls of plasma and it's, it's more like a sniper rifle um, of some description and it looks really cool and I'm really tempted to buy it even though that that would constitute spending money on the game and uh, I don't know if I want to do that beyond the um, paying for admission to the game I guess. Okay and my aim down sights just seems to be very temperamental. Yeah, like that. Sometimes it doesn't want to aim down, sometimes it absolutely does. I can't really explain why that happens. I have it on um, hold to aim. Usually I use like a toggle to aim. But in this game, well, because it's so bloody temperamental, it's kind of hard to, to do otherwise. And I wish I never delete it now, but the last time I played, one of those guys got sucked into basically this wall. And it was like a replication of the scene from the actual movie with the, the Queen Alien getting sucked through the hole in the wall. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. I guess we'll uh, try the pistol. My teammates were more useful, that guy would be dead. Okay. The pistol seems pretty damn accurate. The, the this pistol, um I don't know what it's called. Whatever the pistol's called, and the battle rifle are the only two weapons I haven't actually used in the game. Um yeah, the combat pistol. I kind of blew through the game twice with all the Oh, that's a bad guy. Um, with all the basic weapons, um, as I never f f really felt the draw, but I guess for video, I want to cover everything. Oh, I, I guess that was supposed to be scary. Or uh, like a jump scare. The elevator? Bishop, this is Winter. Do you have a read on the structural integrity of the elevators? Affirmative winner. They have power, but the damage is unknown. Would not advise. Over. Trust me. You're gonna stay in this time. It's a pretty cool tattoo, bro. What, um, what tribe are you part of? Oh, nice moves! Nice! Oh, I love this raid. Really? I can see just fine. I even have a flashlight! Yay! Oh. What kind of noise was that? Oh, there's something down there, I don't need that. And there's actually an alien just chilling right here. Minding his own business. 
You fucking ugly bastard. Okay. Let's just get out of here. I'm tracking hostiles. Multiple signals all around and closing. <laughs> oh boy. Grenade out. And hey, what do you know? The game actually brings back the aliens in this game called Aliens. That's awesome. That was really nice of them. And it seems like the lighting changes between going in and out of these doors. And I, I can't for the life of me properly aim down sight because of the, how broken the friggin' controls are. Oy, 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 okay. Let's just... Oh yeah, this has the shotgun, never mind. <laughs> I don't think it has a grenade launcher, because that would probably be a little bit too overpowered. Um, I'm curious, if you walk on this, usually it will fall down, but I wonder if it happens over here. I wonder if the level is dynamic in that regard. Yes, it is! Yeah. Very, very um, predictable. And there's a, a nice untextured head, if you can see that there. Yeah, that happens from time to time. You see the lovely uh, UV map, but no actual texture to lay over it. It's wonderful. I seem to recall there being a dog tag somewhere here. I don't want to bother looking for it, they're not really to the detriment of our playthrough here. Okay. Oh, and, and that whole section actually went a lot better than my initial attempt to record this section went. Um, I have to say, it's probably on part of the battle rifle here. It's actually pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Um, the pulse rifle, as cool as it is to get a bit of fanfare and to play with the pulse rifle and really feel like you're firing one, it's really not that accurate. It's horrible to use, actually. Um, and most of the other guns are inaccurate in their own way. Um, wow, that... That totally just bounces, and they take no... <laughs> fragmentation damage. Anyway, yeah. They're all generally really floaty and inaccurate and horrible to, to use, but this one's pretty cool. I guess the only downside being that it's not particularly useful from the hip. Roger that! Roger Dodger. Oh, that was... That was cinematically close. I don't know, I didn't even read that. I think I said kill two enemies. Something or other. I was too busy killing the aliens to read the challenge for killing the aliens, but hey, whatever gives us more of these bro points. Whatever the hell they're called, I don't know. 29 kills. And we're only, what, 15 minutes in? Not even. Uh, there's something over there. Well, there's a section over there, but there's absolutely nothing in it. Okay. It serves only to slow you down. I'm not sure how long we can keep the PMCs out of our ship. Once those mercenaries put us in danger, we are leaving you here. Move as fast as you can, sir. There's bugs all over the ship. Whoa. Getting flashbacks to Call of Duty. I think there may have been dog tags here, but because the, of the way the checkpoints in the game uh, works when you reload saves, they, these things tend to disappear after some time. And that was the first time in maybe an hour or two that they've actually opened a door for me. So that's nice of them. Oh, but I need to do this one, of course. Yeah, I can never get that one. I don't even know if it's possible. 
through here. Oh, the roof. The roof is... My head is too big to hit the roof. I mean, really, that could have been a, a fantastic opportunity to make an actual scary segment of gameplay. To actually make a tense moment where the lights go out, you're running through a room that's falling to pieces. Man, I'm not a writer, I'm not a game designer, but come on. You could, that could have been really cool. Why did the lights even have to flash off if it wasn't going to be some thematic attempt to increase the intensity of the scene? I don't know. I want to use my pistol on these guys. Yeah, that little pistol's pretty cool and it even has a, a slot to keep my pennies on the top there. You see that? This pistol is huge. We can't react to this right now. If we don't get back to the cargo bay, we're stuck here. I just can't believe it. Look at our ship. Abandon the ship. Abandon the ship. Our ship anymore. Ah, it looks like shit now. Oh. I guess that was supposed to be scary as well. Weird. Oh, there's a really... Okay, this is cool. If this works... I don't want to get too close to the aliens right now. If this works... Yeah! Blow everything up! Yeah! That's pretty satisfying. What? No jump scare here? In this identical room? Okay. We're bleeding aggro! Everybody move! Pay attention to the fact that that wasn't um, some kind of actual unique physics moment. That was literally um, speeding up the player and animation movement to simulate being blasted in hallway. So no effort even on that front. But whatever. Then comes the elevator. So let's see if this uh, is truly like clockwork. This is the Four, third or fourth time I played the level, I'm going to activate the button and they're going to run to the my back right into that corner. Yep, yep. Then run towards me. Turn around, guys. Yep, and just stand there looking aimlessly at the corner. I don't know why they do that, but they've done it every single time so far. And it's, uh, well, like I said, like clockwork. There certainly was a dog tag there, but well, now it's not. Your asses in here so we can get back. Okay. Actual, we can't remote open the cargo doors. I think the ship is buckling on top of them. The doors have an override. Winter, you will need to arm the emergency releases on the cargo bay door. I don't know why it has to trigger the aim down sights animation multiple times. Oh, there was a grenade right there. I guess I don't I don't get a heads up display for that in my scope. I should probably be more mindful of that. Now let's start all the way back at the elevator. Okay, I will actually avoid that now. In fact, I'm just going to outright skip that section. Let's just head over now. There's no point in even doing this. If I just... Uh, oh, I don't have any... any <laughs> I don't have grenade launchers and I just got headshot. I can quickly switch to you. That works. Go. I'm gonna switch to Ripley's gun now because this is actually a decent area to use it, at least in a moment after I clear this switch and get to the other side. Now this the section's actually a bit annoying in that they can kill you through these. Aim, oh, please aim down the fucking sights, for God's sake. I don't know why it had. What? 
Okay, well, I guess we'll cut back because we're going to start all the way back in the elevator again. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got myself back to where I was. God, that's annoying. So, I mean, I mean, I like it though. I like the fact that you can die in one shot if they get a lucky shot. It's nice to see that the bad guys actually can be somewhat of a formidable foe, but the, the fact that they just endlessly spawn and the fact that we're playing an aliens game and yet fighting a bunch of humans, <laughs> when you when you add it all together is when it gets really bad. But um, on their own merits, I guess they're okay. So, we're gonna, yep. Let's go back and activate the button. Oh, nice spawning, bro! Jesus, you lost your arm as well. God, that's embarrassing for you, and that's a big failure. Okay. Oh. He actually started dying and then survived. I don't think there's any health in here for me to grab. Get the body armor. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, here's hoping I don't goof up. Oh, there's one right there. That wasn't there before. Was it? Okay. Now it's going to be a decent time to use Ripley's gun. At least when the game catches up. Come on. Stay behind cover here like a smart FPS player. Can't get in it until it stops, of course. Okay, now the game's gonna start chucking aliens at us. Because we can't look directly down. Oh, please don't don't kill me just as I'm about to complete the bloody level. There we go. Cutscene time. Yay! Excellent! Got a new level and another mission coming up. Okay, well, thank you for watching, I guess. I'll see you in the next video.